Analytics Explainer. Today we will be having a look at how to create a basic SEO report for our clients. The requirements for this report are Google Analytics or any other tracking mechanism that is installed on your client's website. We will be using Google Analytics and Microsoft Excel. We will be covering how to analyze key keyword ranking, uh, the traffic that is coming to the website, the bounce rate, pages per session, average session duration, and landing page analysis to understand how the content is performing on the website. So we are in our Google Analytics account, uh, and we need to have a look at uh, what data to analyze for us for our SEO report. Uh, we move on to the acquisition options under acquisition all traffic channels to understand where the traffic on our website or our client's website is coming from. In the channels, uh, we get a lot of channel groupings by default given by Google Analytics. Organic search is obviously the SEO traffic that is coming to our website, organic search from any search engine that is available on the web, direct referral display, and so on and so forth. What we will be doing is we will be analyzing the net the past six months data to understand how the traffic is performing on our client's website. We would be adding month of year as another dimension. and downloading this data. Make sure you have all the rows selected as shown. Click on export as CSV. Once this is exported, another piece of data that we will be requiring to create this report, and it is the most important aspect of this report, is the landing page data. Once we are here, we will again be adding the dimension of months, month of the month of year. selecting all rows and downloading the same. Make sure the date range is as you require and is selected in the date picker in Google Analytics. Once you have downloaded both the files from landing pages and from uh, default channel grouping or channel analysis from Google Analytics, you will get these kind of Excel files which usually have all this junk data which we don't really require or will not be useful for us in any way. Uh, I would recommend to delete these delete all these not required datas from the Excel sheet and consolidate all the data from these multiple Excel sheets that we have into one Excel file. Like this. So you have your uh, traffic export data, which has uh, all the different channels that, that are getting traffic to the website. You have the various landing pages, which are getting a lot of traffic on your client's website as well. Once you have all these things in place, the next step would be to convert the month of year into a month so that we can further do the analysis of the data that, is, that we have in the Excel sheets. It's a very simple uh, formula. Just add it and once you have added the formula, you need to go into more numbers in, in the custom. Type in four times M and four times Y should convert the data into proper months for your pivot table. 
once you have the pivot table for the traffic you can start uh, playing around with the data like I am doing right now for instance I uh, if I want the number of uh, sessions I would certainly drag and drop then you can add the months and there you go this is your first analysis table that you can include in your uh, report as well wherein you have all the channels that are getting traffic to your website and all the months of for the past six months all the way from April to September all the data is available I would advise taking this table creating a analysis sheet and pasting it now you have the analysis sessions uh, table with you the same thing can be done for bounce rate however bounce rates are not sums those are percentages you can convert that into an average bounce rate and further convert this into a percentage with at least two decimal places and add the the analysis sheet again uh, pages per session will be an average and not a percentage it will be a number same can be done for average session duration now you see here it is giving us the count of average session duration this again will be average one extra step that is required here is to convert all these numbers into proper time formats as well same data and add it to the analysis sheet you can further go and analyze the same things for your e-commerce data that is coming to the website as well once we have all this data in one of the sheets we can further go and analyze or create those fancy shots that are required to uh, further rep better represent the data that is that we can see here any of these graphs would certainly help in understanding what is going on on the website as well I will be choosing this graph which gives us an understanding of how much traffic is coming from each channel for each month so even better way to represent this data which has a lot of parameters right now would be to isolate it to your campaign that is organic search campaign the SEO campaigns and add in probably a line chart or even a bar chart would help us understand the 
progression. It could be any of these charts. I would be using the line chart. It helps us understand the flow or trend of traffic coming to the website. We will further be analyzing or isolating our data to organic search itself. Another way to compare your data or your performance would be to add a total or average for each channel. and create a comparison pie chart. It gives you a fair idea of how search is performing in comparison to our other channels of promotion. Now that we have all the graphs available created for our traffic analysis, we can move on to landing page analysis. The same process needs to be followed for converting months of, of year into month so that we can create a pivot table for landing pages as well. And we can get this kind of a table in the pivot tables, which we can further copy paste into landing page analysis where we can use this data to understand what pages have performed and what pages have underperformed over a period of months. To do that, what we can do is use a very simple ready-made function of Excel that is conditional formatting. And this gives you an idea. It this actually highlights the greens as the highest uh, numbers and red being the smallest numbers, which can further be uh, added to the table as well. A small trick that I usually use is to copy paste, go into paste special and choose paste special. 
performance. You can exponentially increase the level of highlighting using this methodology as well. So now we have this data for around 17. Oh, let's let's do it for a few more as well. We usually, you can usually go on and uh, show the first 10, 15, or 20 pages and analyze how they are working out for you and then decide which pages need to be optimized. Let's take around first 20 keywords and add it to our analysis bit. There you go. Moving on from landing page analysis, now we can move on to keyword ranking as well. Usually we keep a record of which keywords, which months and their respective rankings in different columns uh, for each month. We can further analyze this by understanding how many keywords are ranking on, on which position on Google search in this way. A simple counters formula can help you understand or get the data of how many keywords are ranking on top five, uh, top 10 for a certain month, if you have this data. Once you have this data with using the counters formulas to understand how many keywords are ranking for each month uh, in the particular position, you can move on to creating this graph using this uh, table itself. Further to understand from a monthly perspective, you can create a month graph for the uh, keyword ranking as well. Once we have all our graphs in, in the Excel sheet, we can certainly move on to put adding them to our presentation in this way. The monthly keyword ranking, which shows you how many keywords are ranking on which position of Google, the current month's keyword position analysis, the traffic comparison for each month for the past six months from each channel on the website, organic traffic trend, whether it is increasing, decreasing over the past six months, bounce rate analysis, pages per session, average session duration, the landing pages, which will help you understand what to do next as well. Make sure to add in your, your recommendations on each slide that you're presenting so that whoever is viewing this uh, presentation can have some learnings out of the data that you are presenting to them. And towards the end, don't forget to add in the summary, the next steps of what you might be uh, doing for them uh, after analyzing so much of data uh, from Google Analytics for their website. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks again and hope to see you in the next video.